Hi Aquarius, my name is Debbie and I am an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general monthly reading for uh, January 2019. This is a new thing that I'm doing, please be patient. Uh, it is a lot of work to get all 12 signs out for a monthly. Uh, what I did was, I do have a new location here as well. Uh, my office is in the basement. Uh, it's a finished basement, but it does get cold down there. So for the, uh, the winter months, I've decided to move my location uh, to do readings up here. I know the lighting isn't the greatest. I'm still working on that issue. Uh, so what I do here in regards to the monthly, I've, uh, I've been spiritually guided to do it this way. Uh, instead of the weekly, how I take only the 10 cards with clarifiers, outcome clarifiers, uh, they led me to do a 15 card spread. So that way I can get more energy, more messages out in regards to the monthlies for this, okay? So for, for the sign of Aquarius, whoever this is meant for, you first start off with the Knight of Cups. Oh, before I begin, sorry. Um, I'm going to read uh, five across, okay, it's a 15 card spread, uh, three rows of five basically. So I'm going to initially read across all five rows or all three rows going across and then I'm going to take the energy of the three or the five rows going down, the three cards, and I'll explain more messages that way as well. I just wanted to clarify that for you guys. Uh, whoever this is meant for, you have the Knight of Cups. So this has been a very slow process in regards to a love situation, I feel, that's causing kind of a tower moment with you, okay? Uh, the tower is that shake-up kind of moment. Uh, that is leading to that confusion, okay, with the Seven of Cups here. Uh, literally, with the Five of Swords right after that, the energy of this Five of Swords is kind of like, I wanted that change in regards to uh, that Five having that change, okay? But it's mentally conflicting you. I just heard conflicting, conflicting you in regards to a very confusing situation with that mental anguish in order to get your Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. So basically, this is saying the first row is that a slow, very slow process in regards to a love situation, I feel, is kind of... They just said turmoil, all right, in regards to shaking things up, in regards to a very confusing situation, up in your head kind of thing, very mentally uh, anguished over, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, what do I do, okay, in regards to getting this wish fulfillment. I feel with the second row of five here, you have the uh, four of wands, so I do feel that you. it's been a slow process in regards to taking that next step, but... You are trying to stay strong with the Leo energy as well, but you could be dealing with the Leo. But regardless, the energy of this strength card is really turned looking at this. So that to me tells me is that you're trying to stay strong in order to take that next step with somebody, but you're waiting. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles right after that strength card, okay, uh, that is known for that waiting, but you're literally turned looking over at this two of pentacles okay so it's kind of like you know i'm waiting uh the two of pentacles is known for a decision to be made i feel as to where do i go from here kind of thing the other energy while you're waiting a little off balance the pentacles is known for balance okay abundance as well but it balance here this pentacle should be lowered okay it should be even okay it, it shouldn't be off balance okay and i feel while you're waiting there's a lot of mental anguish here going on a lot of confusion in regards to this slowness especially with that tower card there so while you're waiting you're feeling a little unbalanced in regards to what do I do okay right after that you have the ten of swords so the ten of swords is you know there's a few different messages especially with the two of pentacles right after that he's not just looking over at this ten of swords okay ten of swords is known for getting that completion in regards to mental anguish closing that chapter in regards to that mental anguish doesn't mean that you have to forget about the person or that this love isn't going to exist it's more of a mental state of mind in regards to off balance feeling making that decision to you see how he's looking at that one pentacle regaining your balance ending that mental anguish okay make that decision is what this is saying to me okay in regards to ending that mental anguish it doesn't mean that when you uh, do that, you know, you're only benefiting yourself in regards to ending that mental torment, okay? Especially with the tower there, with the seven of cups, with the five of swords. 
uh, you know, that two of pentacles totally off balance is when I'm feeling in order to get this wish fulfillment. I know you're talking. I hear you. Uh, they're showing, they're telling me over and over, I might say, is that, uh, you know, when people always say, <clears throat> and I always laugh at people when they say this to me, but I guess it's true to some degree. It's kind of the feeling of this relationship that, you know, you're waiting for, or you want this relationship will just come out of nowhere when it's timed right. Uh, and it's kind of like when you least expect it. Thank you. They just said least expect it, which is the energy here. Uh, I feel because if you end this, you make that decision basically is what this is saying. Okay. To end this mental anguish, you're going to get your wish fulfillment. It's kind of like, they just showed me you released that mental anguish and I just saw the door swinging open. So that tells me is that if you make that decision to end that mental anguish of being kind of traumatized because of the slowness of that mental conflict in order to get this wish fulfillment, make that decision. I know you've been waiting for quite some time. Okay. This is de definitely saying that trying to stay strong, trying to stay optimistic, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and you can see that. You know, you can see that with the Five of Swords, with the Two of Pentacles, it's kind of like you go back and forth, back and forth. And that's that mental anguish of that Five of Swords. It's kind of like, I want this change, but I'm confused about this change. But yet on the other side, there's my wish fulfillment. If you release that mental anguish and let it go, that's when, when you least expect it, you know, uh, that's when that wish fulfillment will come in, okay? Uh, and try to work on you and get that bounce back in is what this is saying because I do feel that with the hermit right underneath that four of wands you're deep in your thoughts you're manifesting you have a wish you have a desire there's that star you know but this also tells me especially with what I just explained that star is known for not just a wish but it's also known for healing so take that energy of being deep in your thoughts about being in hermit mode and constantly thinking of getting this wish fulfillment. Believe me, I'm not judging nobody. I do the same darn thing. You know, I'm a triple Libra, you know, I get that, you know, and it's tough to heal your mind. It is, but the star is known for that healing of the mind, of that hermit mode of deep in your thoughts. Uh, to, you know, because I do feel that once you, you know, you're deep in your thoughts, okay, here's one message they're showing me here, right after that hermit, yeah, I know, that's what I just said, <laughs> they're arguing with me, but it's kind of like, heal your mind, okay, uh, because when you do, that's when that message that's when that communication with that page of pentacles comes in. That's when that balance, that's when that offering, that's when that apology comes in, okay? Uh, I also feel that it's definitely divinely guided uh, when this decision is made for when this communication does come in. It's kind of like they have your back in this, believe it or not. It doesn't feel like it. Oh, I know. But it's kind of like when you are balanced that's when you get that green light in your life to move forward, to take that next step. Sure, it's been a trial, you know, it, it, it's been brutal, you know, for some out there. And I totally resonate with that, you know, in my own life. But there's a decision that you have been waiting for. You've been looking out. You've been waiting. You've been hopeful. This is all yellow. This is that sun, that bright, beautiful future. You've been hopeful, you know, for a decision to be put on your divinely guided path here. But it's slow, baby. It is the Knight of Pentacles. It's coming in, you know. But that slowness is also in regards to, because uh, I clarified it with the moon card here. So I feel that that slowness is coming in, yes. But that balance, which is that pentacle, is that slowness because you're feeling in the dark, you know, about this decision that you have to regain your balance back in your own life first before you can move forward. I hope that that helps. I know it, I, I know I'm all over the place, but that's, I'll review. Don't worry. So let's do the three down, okay? Okay, five rows across, all right? So the first row of, of three is the Knight of, Pen Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, uh, followed by the Four of Wands, followed by the Hermit. So this does definitely tells me is that this is a slow motion in regards to getting taking that next step, that you're deep in your thoughts about your wishes, your desires here, okay, is what that is saying. Uh, the next row is the Tower, the Strength card, 
and the Page of Pentacles, okay? That's exactly right. Uh, sorry, they're talking, so I'm agreeing with them. Uh, the tower is that shake-up moment. You're trying to have that strength uh, for that communication, for that apology, for that abundance to come in of that pentacle. The other message that I was feeling is that, yeah, you're having a shake-up moment. Stay strong and offer yourself, you know, that pentacle. Offer yourself that balance in your life, you know, because of the Seven of Cups because of the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment card here. You're on your right path. There will be a decision made. You've been waiting for this and it's been extremely confusing. And you know, with your thoughts, uh, Spirit actually communicates with us through our thoughts. You know, I don't, you know, I don't hear, I don't see my spirit guide, okay? I hear him, all right? He's not verbally saying blah, 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 Deb. He's in my mind. He's he's telling me these, these messages in my mind. That's how spirit communicates with us, okay? So it's kind of like they have been on this right path, they've been hearing your thoughts with this hermit here. They've been listening to you, okay? There's going to be a right path, a right decision made, but they want you to make that decision as well that you've been waiting for, okay, that has been confusing to release that mental anguish because of the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, okay? You have that mental anguish of going back and forth, back and forth, of feeling that unstableness while you're waiting. They want you to make that decision to end that mental anguish in order to get your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords here, and the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Moon card. So definite slow motion in regards to uh, not just a relationship and offering, a balance into a relationship, which is your wish fulfillment. But I also feel in regards to your own self, in regards to, uh, you know, you, you got a little off balance with it. And believe me, I, I'm not here to judge. You know, I, I do the same thing, you know. So, but you have to get to that point of your life where it's kind of like, this is dragging on, you know. I'm a little in the dark, you know. I got to release. I got to end that mental anguish and Bam. That's when that wish fulfillment, that's when that decision will be taking place as to say, this chick, this dude is now balanced in their life. We're making that decision and putting them on the right path and giving what they want is what that is saying. But there are lessons in regards to uh, on that journey, you know, in regards to getting that balance, getting that happiness, getting that wish fulfillment. We have to fulfill, unfortunately, <laughs> and I say that kidding, you know, laughing because it's tough. You know, it's tough to go through the lessons. And I really feel... That's what your message is, is for you to realize that, hey, and I'm not saying that you don't, you know, I, you know, you're going back and forth, you know, you want to stay strong, you want to have that determination. Nobody's saying don't lose that determination for this relationship. What I feel is that spirit's trying to encourage you and try to not, that's tough, that's, that's not right. They just said force upon you. <laughs> That's a little rough there, but yeah, it's kind of like they're trying to nudge you and push you into the right direction of finding balance again into your life, and that's when it takes place. It's kind of like once you get that balance in your life again, that's when it's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen when you least expect it, and that, that saying, I, I tell you, I've been a widow for five years, and all my friends uh, always used, always says, always say it's they still do it's going to happen when you least expected deb and i was like well i'm going to practice that least expecting <laughs> i used to kid around but it's serious i mean it, it, it's a tough tough lesson to learn to learn to release okay still have that determination but have strength for yourself you know have that um They're trying to say it, and I can't place what they're trying to say. Yeah, you guys are really confused. My head was just spinning. So, yeah, it, it's kind of like get that balance in your life again, you know. And when you, le when you least expect it, when you ground yourself, when you're kind of like, whatever. You know, when you accept that this is in, uh, I shouldn't say God's hands, but they're saying God's hands and the universe's hands here, okay, that's when that decision is going to be made. Once you have that balance in your life, it's going to be like, 
why didn't I know this sooner? <laughs> That's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, it's kind of like, why didn't I see this? Because it's part of the lesson. Okay. It's part of the lesson you have, you, you have, you go through growth spurts of, of learning through a relationship here. And that is one that is a very important. One of them is patience. One of them is learning to release and putting it out there to the universe, because this is divinely guided. They are, they are watching you. They hear your thoughts. They see your struggle. They want you to release that mental anguish, make that decision for yourself because your outcome card is this. It is swords, mentally anguished and trapped with your thoughts, okay? Swords represent your thoughts. You're surrounded by them. You're mentally anguished, okay? Uh, after waiting in this stagnation mode, you're stressing yourself out in your head. End it. End it. End that mental anguish. End that, you know, end that mental anguish of that stagnation, you know? Uh, release it, okay? Release Come to that completion of that mental anguish and be done with it is what that is saying. And that is what I have for you guys. I hope that this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies and now monthlies. Everybody have a great month. Stay strong and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.